Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. Something for Alex in this overdrive, and I'm joined here in the studio with Leanne McAdoo. And we just wanted to clear out a few of the callers who've been waiting for a while. i got Bill in Georgia, Eric in Tennessee, Rocco in North Carolina, Kevin in Georgia. I'm going to just limit it to those. I don't know if we can get through that in this segment here. We're going to try to go through fairly quickly. Uh, Bill in Georgia, what's on your mind? Hello. Okay, let's go to Eric in Tennessee. Eric, what's on your mind? Leanne. Hey. David Leanne, are you there? Yeah, we're there. How you doing? All right, all right, doing well, doing well. Glad, uh, glad to hear you guys today. You always do an excellent job when Alex is away. Thank you. Uh, the thing that really gets me, uh, people are always crying, you know, in their milk about how their kids are, you know, again, and how this and that is going on, and how the state steps in. People forget that that birth certificate that they sign when they have the kid in the hospital pretty much puts them in state custody from day one. Mm -hmm. So. I mean, you know, we're a debtor nation. They own us from the time that, that we're born until the time that we die and they sign that death certificate. Um, you know, if people realize that more than they do, I think that it would change a lot quicker in this country. Yeah, very good point. And they've, had, mean, and they've had court decisions where people have complained, especially in Massachusetts. I think it was at a school where uh, a parent was concerned about what his children were being taught in school. And they said, hey, you know, you've... When you bring your child to the school and turn them over, you've abandoned your child to the state. I mean, we need to start rolling these things back, and people need to understand really what the true perspective of the state is towards us. They really do believe that they own us, and we need to reassert the fact that they don't, and it's an educational issue. Thank you very much, Eric. Let's, let's go to, I want to try to get through as many calls as we can. Let's go to Rocco in North Carolina. Hey, David, thanks. Hey. I've been really amazed how all across the board, no one's really covering in detail the plans for this Article 5 convention. There's so many players and you know, divergent groups coming into place. You have the Convention of States people, uh, Glenn Bench up on board, yeah. Mark Levin, Rob Nadelson. Yeah, that's, uh, not a, that's not a solution. You know what, what the problem is? The problem is not our Constitution. The problem is that we've got a gang of criminals who are running our government who don't pay any attention to the Constitution or their oath to it. That's the real problem. And unless we get that changed, a constitutional convention, as far as I can see, can only make things worse because you, if they don't obey the law now, what makes you think if you had a better law, they would obey that? But, of course, they can always come in and give themselves legal cover to, to remove the restrictions that they currently have. Is that your take on it? Absolutely. The, the logical fallacies are clear. I, I completely agree with you. Not only would you be trusting the current occupants of Congress right, right. and the state mm -hmm. legislators, right. allegedly, th th there's two huge logical fallacies. Number one, you're trusting these people. Oath breakers. Yeah. Yeah, right, oath breakers <laughs> to present po good amendments. And then even if they did, which would be, yeah, it, it would be hard to believe that would happen. Then you're going to trust them in Congress to obey the new amendments when they're existing the current uh, Constitution. I think it would be great if Alex could get on uh, Stuart Rhodes, uh, have a little debate with Bruce Fine. I think it would be an awesome show. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I agree with you. It's, it's absolutely insane to think that these people would have the integrity to change something. But, you know, once they pay attention to that, once the the jurisdictions of Washington, D.C. and Chicago start paying attention to Supreme Court decisions on the Second Amendment as well as to the Constitution, then I'll agree that maybe they've got something there. Let's go to uh, Kevin in Georgia. Kevin. I can't talk. Hello? Hey, how you doing? What's on your mind? Yeah, uh, about solutions. Have, have you? Know, uh, do you know anything about John Duresh? Uh, no, I don't. Actual? I've only got about twenty seconds. I'm sorry to cut you short, but yeah, tell me real quickly what you want to say about uh, nationalliberty.alliance.org. He wants to bring back the common law grand jury. Okay. And that would straight that would straighten out all our problems. Oh yes, our juries are a mess. Yeah. Also look at fully informed jury association feature. Well that's it for today's show. We're gonna be back tomorrow. Alex is gonna be joined by Tucker Carlson live in studio. 
editor and creator of The Daily Caller, as well as a commentator. So it's going to be an interesting show tomorrow. Join us then. That'll be 11 Central, 12 Eastern. American gardeners and fellow patriots, make the right choice with your money, time, and your family food supply. Choose one.